Hi, this is one guy Nick reviewing the Sony TXN17P, which is the ultra portable laptop, the uh, two pounder that's been out on the market for a little bit of time. The only thing I specifically wanted to uh, review here isn't its ability as an ultra portable. You can read many reviews and tell you it's an amazing laptop. What I wanted to talk about specifically was is its ability to run Linux. Um, the device, I can say, runs Linux very, very well. All of the functions of sleep, hibernate, um, restoring from that sleep, and using the Wi-Fi here work awesome. Some things that don't work. Let's get into that. Um, some things that don't work right off the bat down here are the video, or I'm sorry, the volume controls, volume up and volume down. Despite them being actual hardware buttons, you'll notice that the standard GNOME uh, volume control up and down on screen display does not work. What's funny is that the mute button here actually does work. So you have the ability to mute and hardware based mute the volume. Something else that doesn't work yet, hopefully, the Think Finger guys are making great progress is the biometrics finger reader. I was really excited to plug this into the PAM modules and do my Lux encrypted uh, volumes, but no luck yet. Something else that doesn't work would be the Sony Magic Gate, which is the wonderful Sony standard for memory cards. Hello, all you PSP owners. What a horrible, horrible product. Up here, what doesn't work would be the AV, the play, stop, next track modes. Um, these perform no functionality, and I've done my best using XCV to, to see if they're actually mapped to anything. At this point in time, they're not. What does work, though, and is handy, would be, is the eject button, which pops up the GNOME on-screen display. And why this is great is that the Sony engineers probably put the smallest button possible, and I don't even know if it would show up on this video, um, uh, of to eject it manually. So that little button has saved me a lot of heartache. Um, something else that works great is the uh, USB, the PCMCA, all of that's great. And if you use the Sony PI modules, and we, that gives us the ability to use the function key and the screen brightness, for example, works now, they map the F3 and F4 to volume control and a few other things like that. Overall, I'd say it's a great laptop. Using 2.6.18, I get really good battery life in the scope of seven hours um, with some very conservative battery management uh, through ACP ACPI. I'm really excited to hear about uh, the new laptop timing um, and look forward to Gutsy coming out here soon, or I may just backport and recompile the kernel. Um, let me go ahead and hibernate the laptop, which is something new for me in the Linux world. I've been struggling for the better part of six years for this. Works great. Overall, I'd say it's a great laptop. I am really scared to break it because it's so small. Uh, but with the combination of on-off wireless switch, the ability to manually uh, hardware-based mute, and no webcam was the deal censure for me. For the corporate environments I work in, these are all requirements. So that's my review of the Sony TXN17P running Linux. Thank you.